and welcome back ladies and gentlemen this is your beloved host like crypto here and today we are going to be diving into the world of deepen again and there has been so many new amazing products being announced in the last couple of weeks and months which i'm so excited to review on the channel once i get my hands on them but today we are going to be talking about the world's first Deepen based ring known as Qtis, which is using Solana as its blockchain. Now, this review will be based on the Qtis 001 version. So, I'm presuming that they are going to be launching a new version of the ring in the future. And this is kind of the normal trajectory with a lot of these crypto devices, whatever it's hardware wallets or ASIC machines or whatever type of Deepin devices like we have, like Helium and etc. They are always bringing out new versions which are supporting 5g or i don't know bluetooth support there can be always different ways to upgrade the machine outside from firmware obviously but i wouldn't be too worried about you getting the earlier version of cutis i'm sure it's going to be supported as they are rolling out the new versions of the ring because basically they are doing the same thing maybe the new version is just aesthetically different or has a better battery but underneath it's using the same app and etc so the cutest ring is basically used to track out your wellness or health, as some people like to call it. And as a guy in my 30s, you know, health is becoming more and more important factor in my life. I like to know what I'm eating a lot more closer than I did on my 20s or on my teenage years. And obviously, I want to have more exercise and just general overall, overall more data about what's going on with my body. And obviously, there are people who are a bit tinfoiled about it and see the security risks of like having an application that is already tracking your wellness data. But obviously, a lot of these Samsung phones or iOS phones, they already have the health applications. They are tracking how many steps you take and etc. And they might even know your heart rate and etc. But fundamentally, that's what Qtis is here to do. It's acting as like an AI smart ring, which is there to track out your heartbeat. There's different types of functions functionalities in the application, which is tracking your sleep and all types of things. There's also AI coach inside the application where you can ask certain types of questions. It's not like a proprietary form of an AI. I think it's just like some type of fork out of JetGPT. And the ring itself is basically charged by this a small device. It has a seven day battery life according to them. And it's using like magnetic charging. So it's basically this small device which you basically magnetically connect your ring into and then you plug in the USB in whatever, you know, laptop or, you know, just electricity socket in the wall. It can be charged on different ways uh, throughout the USB cable. And the ring itself is made out of ceramic and titanium. I think the ring feels decent in my hand. Maybe I should have planned out a bit better about the ring size. There are a couple of different options there on what you can choose, obviously. So if you have smaller fingers or bigger fingers, there's a lot of options there. I think it feels pretty decent. It's not maybe the most comfortable piece of ring that I wear, but the interior feels a lot more like plastic, I guess, than it does like a metal. So I think that has a bit of a different feel and doesn't maybe worn so much under your finger when you're wearing it. But this is kind of like what people are used to and do they want to actually use it on their ring? And inside the application, you are going to be getting rewards by doing certain tasks, like, like you're measuring your heartbeat is going to be one of the factors which is going to be impacting the points you're going to be gathering. So one of the beliefs that we obviously have here is that there's going to be an airdrop for the people who have the ring. So they are going to be releasing the cutest token. What exactly is going to be the utility of it? Or are they going to be going the sweat coin route where these points are going to be able to exchange into fitness gear or other types of devices or coupon cards or gift cards or some type of different types of things that you can redeem inside the application. This is kind of like normal with fitness applications as, as we have with Sweatcoin, for example. So that could be something that they might go with. So the token is not like 100% like 
set into the stone, but there is a speculation of that, that that will actually happen. I'm sure that the community will be doing some type of a meme coin, at least unless unless if they're not going to be doing anything. Also, the ring is waterproof. It's using the Bluetooth technology as well. And, and here it actually says the chat GPT is being used as the AI coach behind it. And then there is the application itself, which is on mobile. You can use the mobile device to basically update the firmware in the ring. So it's basically a must have software as well. Not when you, obviously the ring is gonna be connected to the Bluetooth. So you technically have to have the phone with you as you're wearing the ring, which is not gonna be a problem for a lot of people. You can wear the ring also when you sleep. So we'll be able to kind of track your data and maybe it will give you good understanding about your data. Like is your heart rate normal when you're sleeping and things like that. And there's obviously a lot of like, it's not able to tell you absolutely everything about your body. And there's obviously room for error for this because I think obviously you need to also track your blood essential do blood tests to kind of get you know a lot of the more important data about your health you know and because and that is to done through the blood tests in my opinion the heart rate is a one portion about learning about these things and salus is the points inside the system there is a referral program as well for this device and there's obviously they had this also this nft project called edamame which you can, at least it was able to be minted out on at some point on their platform. And then there's also invite system over here and you can get points by inviting other people to buy out the ring. And right now though, you're not able to buy the ring because the QDIS 001 has been sold out. But you guys can sign up for the next version of the ring. And there's also missed out on QDIS 001 Shh, we got a little secret for you. Download the World app. And the World app is obviously the World Coin, which we have covered on the channel. I have reviewed my process of scanning my eyes with the thing. It's been pretty good airdrop, I have to say. But obviously there are some security concerns with World Coin. I'm not totally, what is not dubious is not the word, but impervious. I'm not like, I am self-aware that the World Coin has Sam Altman behind it. And that is obviously a major security risk. And is the information that Acutis is collecting being transferred into the WorldCoin project? And what are they doing with our health data and things like that? That can be a big security concern. So people might be a bit skeptical about getting the actual ring. But you can still gather points inside the application without really using the ring. So using the ring is not exactly a 100% must for you in this speculative environment of like, you know, using the ring and trying to get an airdrop or airdrops in plural. So that's something that I'm, I'm thinking about also. So I'm not, I haven't really used the ring that much on my hand because I just don't like the, I don't use rings in general. That's not my thing. I don't like that they, they, they collect bacteria and shit like underneath. And, but, but I'm probably going to be using it a bit more to get the points and kind of get the gist of the data. I just have to get around doing it. But in terms of the charging and like activating the application and everything, it's a very easy process. So it's not very complex. And then obviously on the actual platform, you are able to set on your own wallet and you can also log in with your email or your actual wallet inside of their dashboard, which basically just, you know, tracks out your points and shows out a leaderboard and I guess there's a lot of people who have also referred people into this system and gathered at these points. But I don't really have much else to add about the cutest ring. I think in terms of its price point, I don't remember the exact price. I think it was $140. So in terms of deepened devices, it's pretty normal standard price. Obviously the it's pretty cheap to send because it's not really big of a package. So I think it's a lot more affordable compared to some of the phones that we have covered on the channel and some of the other uh, gaming consoles and things like that as well. So the cutest, in my opinion, is a decent product. And let's see if the it will become like Sweatcoin or other type of fitness application, which can give us like gradual token rewards by using the application. And then I'm probably going to be doing another review once the token is out and tell you about is it worth using and is it worth like actually giving you good amount of data. But this is kind of like my preliminary interview based on my experiences so far with this device. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more updates in the QDIS in the upcoming future. 
And in case you're just a deep in freak and you like deep in devices and airdrops, it's definitely one of those things that I would definitely consider buying. But thanks for watching, guys. I will be seeing you in the next video when it will be dropping out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.